Drilling holes in a plastic cup? What does that have to do with gardening? Stick around to find out. Let's go back to organics. Alright guys, so today I'm going to try to build a deep water culture system. Um, <clears throat> I picked up this tote from Home Depot. It's 27 gallons. Um, has a really nice reinforced lid. Um, so I can drill a bunch of holes in this and it's still going to be sturdy. Um, like I said, 27 gallon. I've already marked um, all the places I'm going to put uh, drill holes. I'm going to put eight plants into this one tote. I've got my hole saw uh, ready to go. And what I'm going to use instead of net cups, the cheap man's net cup, is this is just a, I guess a solo cup as everyone would call it, but just a plastic drink cup from the store and I've just drilled a lot of holes all the way around it. It's not pretty, but it'll allow water in and allow the roots to grow out. So, and all it's supposed to do is really hold the, the pea gravel that I'm going to use as my substrate to hold the plants in. It's just going to hold that pea gravel in and prevent it from just falling into the water. And so that's what I'm going to use instead of net cups. And so I've got this hole saw, which should allow me to kind of squish these down in there and make everything look pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill all these holes and show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so I got all the holes drilled and through my makeshift net cups in there. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of pea gravel into them and I'm actually going to be growing from seed in this. So most people actually transplant uh, like full-on grown plants. So I'm actually going to be growing from seed. So I'm going to be putting in pea gravel and then sprinkling in some uh, gravel on top of the uh, seeds and then I'll probably water from the top for the first couple of days and put like wet paper towels and stuff over the cups just to keep them moist hopefully enough moist enough to allow the seeds to germinate um, and once they germinate hopefully the roots will start to get down deep enough to get into the water and then everything from then on out will grow like it does in a normal uh, deep water culture. So anyways, um, once I get everything set up, I'll give you one more update and uh, just show you how, how it looks when it's all done and planted. Hey guys, so it got too late last night um, building this. So I wanted to show you what it looked like when I was done and completed and had everything planted. Um, so on this side we've done, let's see, um, parsley, basil, cilantro, I think it's parsley, cilantro, basil, and the two in the middle are uh, multicolored peppers. And on this side we have two green peppers in the middle. Um, and on this side is lettuces and on this side is spinach and in the middle here I wanted to show you how I'm protecting my air pump from rain so I just have my air pump sitting on a couple pieces of cardboard so it doesn't rattle and it's sitting on a like a barbecue grill with all of my outlet and everything protected and then I just cover it up and set a rock on top of it so the wind doesn't blow it off and that's how I keep my electronic from getting rained on or anything um, I also drilled an overflow hole in the side here you can't see it but um, right below where the airline went in and that is so that when it does rain or when the sprinklers come on or something like that if any water gets on the top of this it won't overflow um, instead it will drain out that little overflow hole so anyways I'm just watering from the top 
for these first couple of days just to try to keep these rocks nice and moist. Hopefully we can get some of these seeds to sprout. Um, and if not, we'll just keep trying until we do. So hopefully we will. And I'll give you guys an update when I start to see uh, some stuff start sprouting out of this. So. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more organic gardening tips and how-tos.